Hallelujah, hallelujah, people of God. The Lord bless each and every one joining in the name of Jesus. This is amazing prophetic word we see. It's your last day to see your son again. Hallelujah. In prison. It's your last day to see your son in prison again. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. I know a lot of people might come across this particular prophetic word. Maybe through the title. This is not a prophetic word for you to scroll. It's something you watch from the beginning to the end. The Lord is saying this is the last day you see your son again. Mala kura badishka lebende kura mahanda kura dishka. This is your last day for you to see your son again. This is not a prophetic word for you to scroll. To scroll. I want you to watch from the beginning to the end. What is God saying concerning my son? What is actually going on? Is this about my son? I want to know more. Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. May the Lord bless each and every one. Join in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we pray together? Everybody lift up your hands. Wherever you're watching, Lord, I pray for each and every one at the end of this amazing prophetic word. I pray that we are going back with joy, not with tears. But in Jesus' name, amen. This amazing prophetic word says, this is your last day to see your son again in prison. Hallelujah. This word might not be for anyone, everyone, but I want you to listen. Hallelujah. Make sure you're standing the gap on the behalf of someone in the name of Jesus. I know there are a lot of people that are saying, Pastor, my son is not in prison. Do not screw. Hallelujah. It's something you must watch. This is a prophetic word and it will go a long way for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, from a long way, we all know the story of the prodigal son. Hallelujah. The Bible says, from the long way, this young man came to the father at his own will. He said, Father, give me my own share of my own property so that I might go. The father gave the share of this young man. This young man took his own share, left way, when in a far land, the Bible says when he met some men of squander, they squander all the money. It came a point of time where there were farmers in the land. This young guy began to suffer, began to struggle what to eat. This young man was feeding with the swine. It came at a particular point of time whereby he advised himself. He came back to himself and said, how many hair servants does my father has? He decided to come back. The Bible says when he made this decision, when he was coming back, the father saw him from a distance. Oh, the father said, oh, this is my son. My son that was dead is now alive. My son that was lost has been found. Oh my God. When the father looked at the son, the way the son was dressed, the way the son was looking, when we talk of prison, a lot of people think that only in a physical prison, there are people that are living outside healthy and strong, Meanwhile, they are in prison. Hallelujah. When we talk of prison, do not say, I am not in prison, man of God. You might be watching me, but in one way or the other, you know there are areas in your life that has been captured by, by Prince of Asia. You know there are areas of your life that the enemy has captured those areas. Prince of Asia. The Bible says when the father of this boy saw him from afar, the Bible says just her look, just his look, his look, his dress and everything. The father ran and embraced him. Oh my God. The father said, this is the last time for me to see you in this type of clothes. This is the last time for me to see you dressed like this. This is the last time for me to see you suffer. This is the last time for me to see you looking as a mad child. Not when I'm, a, I'm alive. The Bible says the father wore him a golden ring. The ring was, was a sign of covenant. It was to it was to, 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 to rededicate the covenant back with the father. They wore him a new cloth. They changed him the garment of rejection. They put him a new cloth, a new cloth of a new covenant. The Bible says the father all ordered for the servant to wear him a new shoes. Oh my God. Maliku Bahanda Kadia. This is your last time for you to see your son. Hallelujah. If you are the father that you are waiting your son well. Then you that is a father, who is your own father? Hey, a lot of us will say, my, my own father is dead, my grandfather is dead. Then who also wish me well? We have an internal father. 
in heaven that is saying to somebody today, this is your last time. This is your last time. This is the last time that you'll be in this mess. This is the last time that you will cry. This is the last time that you'll be walking as a madman on the street. This is your last time. I want to stand in agreement with someone, wherever you're watching or connecting, in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every other name. The Lord says, I should speak to somebody prophetically as a prophet of God, that this is the last time. This is the last time you will be rejected. This is the last time you will be crying. This is the last time you will be frustrated. This is the last time you will be disappointed. If you believe that, that my disappointment ends today, drop a prophetic comment at the comment section as you are typing a mail. You're typing this prophetic comment, make sure you're connecting. I've not come to motivate us with words. I've come to speak the word of God. The Lord said, this is the last time for you to be in prison. The prison of that sickness is the last time. It's your last day to be in that mess. You are living that mess. You're living that sickness. You're living that high blood. You're living that particular thing that I've refused. Oh my God, for you to be. This is your last time. I pray for each and everyone watching and connecting under the sound of my voice. This is your last time. I declare and I decree. It's your last time in the name of Jesus. It is your last time to share tears for in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, the, pro the father of the prodigal son wore him a new cloth. May the Lord change that garment of rejection in the name of Jesus. The father put him a gold ring. May the Lord put you that covenant back in the name of Jesus. The world he made new shoes. May the Lord give you speed to overtake and recover all what you have lost in the past. For in Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless each and everyone for joining. For in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.